Once again, live here at Riverfront Park in downtown Springfield, and a short while from now, the formal dedication of the new 9-11 Memorial, which is just over my shoulder here. You can see that I-beam, that artifact from the Twin Towers. A number of dignitaries are already here. A number of people from the community are already here as well. There's a huge American flag that is draped across the entrance to this beautiful new park right here, and the weather has turned out to be just beautiful. There's uh, some history behind that I-beam and some history behind how it came to be here in the city of Springfield. And anchor Barry Krieger is live back there in the studio to walk us through that. Barry. All right, that's right. We have been seeing that uh, piece of steel over John, Don's shoulder for most of this newscast. It is a nine and a half foot long piece of the Twin Towers. It is now the new centerpiece of Springfield's newly renovated Riverfront Park. Well, that piece of steel's journey from New York City to Riverfront Park took 11 years, and it almost didn't happen. We wrote the letters, the first series of letters, in 2008, and then we were rejected on two occasions. In 2008, at the urging of then Fire Commissioner Gary Castanelli, Spirit of Springfield President Judy Matt was on a mission to obtain steel from the World Trade Center Twin Towers. Her 30-year SOS associate, Amy Barron Burke, wrote letters to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey to ask for a 9-11 steel artifact. Judy tore up the rejection letters, a fact she hid from Amy. She never knew. I just kept ripping them up and saying, let's send another letter, let's send another letter. She just didn't know because I just didn't want to be rejected, you know, for something this important. Persistence paid off. By not taking no for an answer, the answer eventually became yes. On September 8, 2011, 10 years after the towers fell, the artifact arrived in Springfield on a flatbed trailer under police and first responder escort. Salmon Studios in Florence developed an emotionally stirring design incorporating the Twin Tower steel for Springfield's permanent 9-11 memorial. More than $300,000 in private local contributions paid for the sculpture. It took Salmon Studios months to engrave 498 names of fallen first responders on the bronze arc behind the steel beam. Judy says the memorial is at once spectacular and humbling, especially when viewed at night. They have two lights in back of it that project lights onto this uh, arc of where the names are. And when you see it, it's amazing. It's the Twin Towers. You see the Twin Towers. Judy told me that this is the most important project Spirit of Springfield has ever worked on.